Welcome back to G&H Honeybees. This is Gary. And um, this little hive here, this is the one I called Hive 4. They had tried to raise a new queen and it looks like she hatched. Uh, so I've left them alone for a bit and I'm just going to have a quick look and see if there's any evidence of either a queen or you know, a mated queen or fresh eggs or whatever these girls are doing. If I don't see a queen and no eggs or anything in here, what I'm going to do is do a newspaper combine with high five, and that way they'll be strengthened up for winter. Okay, so they've got uh, bee bread stored in there. They've got some honey for the winter. A little bit of honey on the other side. A little bit of bee bread. And it looks like this frame is the same. I don't think there's a queen in here. You can see them flying. Well, they're actually trying to start a new queen cut because maybe that other queen wasn't successful. I think I'm just going to do a newspaper combined. Yeah, there's a couple of emergency cups on this frame. So there's no eggs, no sign of a queen, and they're agitated. Well, the funny thing is, there's some drone cells and a bit of brood on here, but I don't know if they raised that from before they killed their queen or where exactly that came from I think that was from before they killed the queen and yeah there you can see see that big cup right there they're trying to another, raise another queen there's a couple of them there they have no queen and there's more on this side so, yeah, I think it's time to do a newspaper combine with high five. And. Yeah. There's no sign of the queen. 
Combine them with the other hive. So, I'll be back in a bit. We'll do a newspaper combined. Alright, so I'm back. This is high five. And I've simply removed the inner cover. Let me give them a bit of smoke. So that they go down. And I'm going to take this newspaper. So I can keep the wind from blowing it away. Put that over the top. Yeah, the wind wants to take it. Let's put that brush on there for a moment. My hive tool. And you make some slits in it. between the frames here. Okay, so that should be enough of that. So now I want to bring that other box with the inner cover on it over here. And we'll set it right on top of that. they should do is they should eat through that newspaper and the newspaper will give them time to get used to the scent of the new queen and uh, they should be uh, good to go and I do hope they accept her so now the other thing I've done is stapled a, a little piece of pine bough over the entrance so any um, foragers that leave, get through the paper and leave this box will hopefully orient back to this box. And the other thing I'm going to do is you see I still have the bottom board over here for the fifth hive or four hive, fourth hive. And I'm going to shake those bees off in front of the other box. And then I'm going to put that uh, little nuke on there and hopefully it'll catch any remaining bees. So Let's try it out and see what I can do. Actually, I should shake that screen into that feeder so that they're in the top. All right, I'll be back in a minute. All right, you see something? Uh, you see them? They're actually orienting now because there's something different about their hive. And they can get around that. They just have to land in behind it and go in the hive. And I see the odd one entering with pollen, so they're collecting pollen. Okay. 
So I'm going to give this a bit to settle down. Now you can see on the nuke, there's all the bees that we're up flying about are having a look inside there. Put the remainders of that pollen patty in there. That'll give them something to think about. And there's more wasps. Get rid of them. So, I am just going to let them settle, and then I'm going to take the bees from the from the nuke. I'll put them into the top of the uh, top box up here, and hopefully everything will be okay. All right. So we'll talk to you again soon. Thank you for watching. Much appreciate you watching. Um, so yeah, y'all have a good day, and we'll be back again. Bye for now.